My life was nothing but hell. Well not entirely when my parents were away, they always love me and take care of me and work hard to provide me, having everything need. Until one night they got hit by a truck, that's when it started. The only family who decided to take care of me is my grandparents. They make me clean their house and feed them, sometimes my grandfather beats me up over the littlest things do. Junk clean up your room my grandma yelled from the living room, aside and decided to clean up my room. When I finished cleaning up my room, heard my grandparents having a serious conversation about me. Sold? What? Darling we don't have that kind of that money to pay off our debt to them, my grandma said in a mix with serious and frightened tone to my grandfather. I know honey but what if we sell off Jungkook? They can do whatever they want to him as long as they don't kill us, my grandfather said to my grandma, I was shocked that my own grandparents suggested to sell me off to the people I don't know. How can they even think that to do that to me? I locked myself in my bedroom and cry all night, not bothering to eat dinner or listen my grandparents. So I went to my bathroom and took a shower for a while to calm down, after that I lay down on my bed, I was mentally prepared for what's gonna happen to me tomorrow. In morning I woke up from the sound of my alarm since usually wake up early and do some chores but this time, this time it's because my grandparents are going to sell me off to some people that are so afraid of. I looked at my favorite teddy bear, I called him Tata I don't know why I called him that. But it suits him. I hugged him really tight, he makes me feel happy and safe. When I finished cuddling my teddy Tata, I quickly got up and get ready. Then I heard my grandma greeting nervously to someone. I quickly went to my door and pressed my ear on it, hearing my grandma talking to someone. Is it them? Can it be the people who will take me away? I'm scared. Who knows what will they do to me? Should I escape? Number I can't. They could probably find me. I paced around the room all nervous. Me and my brother, we were going to meet the elderly couple who owe us money, but they didn't have the money. Typical we were furious until they said they can sell their grandson Jungkook to us. What a pure name. Maybe we can let him clean our mansion if he's going to live with us. V was smirking like a perverted maniac, imagining how this Jungkook boy looks like. But I can't blame him. Because I also wants to know how he looks like. I need to stop thinking about this. When we arrived, we quickly got out and saw the elderly couple greeting us with respect. The old lady let us into their little home. It looks alright and comfortable. Alright, where's the boy my brother V said in a straight up manner. I rolled my eyes and let him do his thing. I I'll go get him, the old lady said. We saw her go upstairs and heard her yelling at her grandson. We saw them come down and immediately I was in a trance when saw him. He's definitely attractive, his big dog eyes. Adorable cute face with bunny teeth. Pumpy pink colored lips look so kissable. The corner of my eye I can see V with a small smirk on his lips. Seems like he's intrigued by him. He looks very shy and nervous, which I can't blame him. We do look scary. And we are dangerous mafia men to get what we want. We talked for a while. But I couldn't stop looking at this baby boy who look like a cute bunny. Somehow he's making me feel crazy. Even thought I just met him today. I wonder what he's thinking about in his little pretty head of his. Oh god they look so hot and handsome. Somehow I have a thing for men wearing suits, it makes them mature and like I said, hot and handsome. I got a feeling the guy with the dark brown eyes is staring at me. It's kinda creepy. When my grandparents finished talking to them, they ordered me to get what I need. And go with them. I feel betrayed yet happy that I don't have to deal with them anymore. Fear too cruel. 
I just hate them. Let's just hope these guys are nice. I went up to my room and grabbed everything I need to leave. When I finished packing, I didn't bother to say goodbye to my grandparents. I really just wanted to get out of there, we got into a fancy limo and got inside, sitting on the black leather seats. It was a quiet ride. I was too nervous to talk to them. And can totally tell they're looking at me. God if you're up there, please let me be in peace. And have no trouble along the way. Jungkook was thinking a lot of things in his little mind. Well let's see what happened with him. In his new life with two mafia daddies. And what is waiting for him. To know all of this wait for part 2. To be continue. Thanks for watching. If you like this video. Don't forget to like comment and share. Because it would inspire me to write more FF like this. Purple you all my purple soul tea cookers.